Heat engines work by transferring heat from a hot reservoir to a cold temperature reservoir and extracting some of that hot uh, reservoir heat that is transferred in the form of work. To analyze this, we look at the first law of thermodynamics, which is an energy balance in which the energy in equals the energy out. That gives heat in equals the heat out plus the work. If we solve for work, we get the difference between the heat in the hot side and the heat in the cold side. We define the efficiency as the work produced divided by the heat input. We can then insert these, this definition by dividing, work, dividing through by the Q hot, and that gives the efficiency as 1 minus Q cold divided by Q hot. Now we apply the second law and in doing so we're going to assume reversible heat transfer in which case the cold heat Q cold is T cold times delta S cold the change in entropy of the cold reservoir and Q hot is minus T hot times the change in entropy of the hot reservoir and that's because as we've defined Q C and Q hot they're both positive quantities but the entropy of the hot reservoir decreases and the entropy of the cold reservoir increases then we have, um, for a reversible process, the change in the cold entropy is equal to the negative of the change in the hot entropy. And this is so that the entropy of the whole system, including the reservoirs, doesn't change. And that's true for a reversible process, where we have entropy associated with heat transfer, but no entropy changes associated with the work. When we do the insertion here then, we get uh, the entropies cancel and we're just left with the temperature ratio. If we plot the efficiency as a function of the hot temperature for a given cold temperature, and we'll take the cold temperature to be ambient, 300 Kelvin, then this is the uh, efficiency plot that we get. So the efficiency increases significantly from about 40% when you have 500 Kelvin as the hot reservoir to 80% when the hot reservoir is 1500 K.